Hey, what's up you guys? To Crazy Asian again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this 2x2 two two retracting secret piston door thing. Uh, first I'd like to claim I am in no way, or I no, in no way claim to be good at redstone. Um, I also, I'm pretty sure this design is original. I haven't exactly done much searching, but I think it is. So, yeah. And when it's done, you should be able to open up, and you can drop it in. Hopefully, if I can time this. And that timing is adjustable. So, uh, let's get started. So, for my block of choice to construct out of, I'm going to be using iron. Uh, of course, you can use whatever you want. You're going to need sticky pistons, if I can spell. Sticky pistons redstone torches, dust, repeaters, and in the end I'll show you how to get it all to hook up to a system so you don't have you don't have to use the buttons of the night. So first, uh, this is seven blocks tall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is where our base level is. Down here is going to be the bottom, of course. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and build our two by two. So this is where it's going to be. We're going to go ahead and build one block off from each side. Probably expand on that later, but for now that's good. Actually, wait, no. We're going to need two. Okay, so two blocks out on each side. These middle two will be where the door goes. Actually, we'll knock those out. <laughs> and then you're going to need four sticky pistons to start off with. One, two... Three, four, and then another two, and then fill those. So you should have that. And then you do the same to the other side. Two, one, two, one, and two. Okay, so we have our pistons. Now we need to power them. So block, block, dust. And you're going to need a another block there, also with dust on it. And then, so you should have that. Whatever shape you want to call that. Uh, put a repeater there, set it to three ticks, and then do the same for the other side. So dust, dust. Repeater set to th three. So, uh, next thing we're going to do is we're going to set up some walls, just so that we kind of know where our limits are with building this thing. So, 2 by 3 there, and this pathway coming out the bottom, you can build it as long or short as you want. I'm going to go ahead and extend this out a bit for now. Okay, uh, we need to get these two repeaters linked up, so we'll put a block on, on the end of each one, and then build a, I guess you'd call it a zigzag thing, going underneath, and then just go ahead and line that with dust. And then just for testing purposes, Torch and all four of or all eight of these side pistons fire. So we're on the right track. Next is going to be powering these bottom pistons. So going to want a block there, this one right here. Put a repeater on it. Leave it at one tick. A block coming out and dust and dust. And do the same for this one over here. So block, repeater set to one, block, block, dust. And again, let's test it out real quick. Okay, so front two fire, back two obviously don't hit. 
So for these back two, we're going to want two blocks there. So these two you don't need. And repeaters, again at one tick. So these, and then we just need to bring the signal over. And that should work. So again, I'm going to test it. Alright, so it works. So, if you have some other way you want to wire it up, just put input into any of the wire. Why is it still being powered? Oh, that's right. Okay. Sorry, I lied. We do this. So ignore what I said earlier. That. It prevents um, the thing from being infinitely powered. Forever powered. Whatever. So that should work properly now. On, it works, off, it all closes. Okay, cool. So yeah, again, if if you have some other way you want to power it, go ahead, turn the video off, uh, just get power to this main line that runs around the exterior and underneath. If you want to do my method, however, uh, let's say you want to do pressure plates, because you're silly. Go ahead and bring some pressure plates. Pressure plate, repeater, not repeater, dust. And we have to get the signal into this main line. Now, obviously, it's, it's open. I'm going to assume you're not going to want it always to be open. I mean, if you do, go ahead and alter this next step. But bring it out, put an inverter, and then bring it down. So, power, power, and dix, okay. There we go. So, oh, that's right, we need a repeater. Um, this will also, that repeater will also do delays. So, like, for example, so the pressure plate, as soon as I get off, Closes almost immediately. Shit. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fix that. So if you were to set this delete this repeater to four ticks, it'd give you more time to jump in your hole. Like so. Um, obviously set it to whatever you want. If you want a closer gap or less time to jump in, then feel free. Uh, let's say you don't want pressure plates, so let's say you want a button. No. So. Button. Button. There we go. Okay. That's how you do it. Um, of course, you can cover it up however you want, like if you don't want this wire there. Um, I found slabs that have been working quite nicely. Do slab. Doesn't look the best, but it covers it up. And there you go. So, a vertical 2x2 piston secret door. Use it however you want. I've got it as an entrance to uh, my house. I want to play on. But yeah, enjoy!